Hey everybody, this is Latrice with Not Broke For Long and I'm sorry about that. <laughs> if you could hear the smoke detector in the background, I'm looking for a battery today, okay? I got my stress relief right here because sometimes I need a little stress relief. Um, and today I am going to do a sinking funds update for the month of September to see how much money I saved this month. All right, and I'm gonna start with my revolving binder. Slide that over to the side. And clothes and shoes, let's see what we have. 20, 40, 65. And we spent some money this month, so that is going to be a little lower. So 365, let me try to move this back a little. Okay, next is date night, and I don't think I put much in here this month. So date night has 50. Guess I put more than I thought. We're not tracking groceries because I spend that all the time. And household, I might stop tracking household also, but there's $80 in there. Okay, and then our separate spending envelopes. Let's see, he has 60 in his. So that's a change of positive $10. My daughter has 50. And I have 20, 40, 60, 80. Some of this is actually getting spent today. We're leaving the house. So hers is a change of five. So if it wasn't for buying the iPad and some other things, there would be a little bit more in there. Oh, no, I put that in the wrong place. I'm sorry, y'all. That thing is really turning up today. Oh, okay, whatever. All right, so mine is a positive change of $30. So that's 80. And then miscellaneous just has five. So that's a negative change of $5. All right, and Let's go to, I'm actually not going to count the savings challenges anymore, just the 100 envelope challenge. It doesn't make sense because I um, I spend that or I put that money towards that. So it's technically not being saved. So I'm not going to count the savings challenges anymore. Okay, anniversary has $15. So I just put, I only put $5 in there this month. Birthdays has 105. So that's a positive change of 15. The car has 100, 200, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. the calculator for that 209 minus 155 is 54 dollars Christmas has 500 in the bank 600 700 750 77 790 so let's see 790 minus 465 is the change of 325. And the emergency fund now has 
which is a change of thirty dollars. Gifts twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, one hundred and five and gifts and some of this is actually about to get spent also uh 105 that's a change of 60 dollars let's see what health has health has 50 70 90 100 so that's just a change of eight dollars holidays has 60 That's a change of 35. So most of these are still increasing even though I've been spending some of it. Home has 120. That's a change of $80. Um, let's see what the kid has. I think it's 64 and 74, 50, 60, 1, 2, 3, 4. And back to school, and then after school has 20, 40, 65, 71, 2, 3, and 4. So 64 plus 74 is 138, which, okay. So I took out some and put some back, but it's just a change of $3. Okay, PTO has $65. So that's a change of 55. Uh, actually, new apartment is not a category anymore because we have decided to just stay where we are for now. 65. And then seasonal. Um, that's a priority that kind of shifted for us. We decided to focus on other things rather than trying to move again. So we are staying put 65 and seasonal. And then I'm going to, I'm going to get rid of that. All right. And then there's travel. Travel now has 100, 200, 300 in the bank and $15. 315. And let me get the calculator for that. So that's a change of 125. And that's it for the sinking funds. Let me check the side hustle binder. And uh, this has changed also. So budget supplies has 30. YouTube, oh wait, no, subscriptions has 25. So that barely changed at all. Etsy, you know, Amazon has nothing. So that's a negative change of $10. Etsy, I think still has 50, yeah. It's a change of 40. And then YouTube has $40. And let me actually do this for a new apartment. Let's do negative 15 and zero for that. Okay, and like I said, I'm not gonna count the 26 week challenge and Hello Honey anymore because that money goes towards debt. And the only thing I'm gonna do is the 100 envelope challenge. So, should I zero this out? I think I will. So let's just say those have zero. And then the 100 envelope challenge. All right, here's the tracker for that. So let me add up everything that I filled in. And let's see where we are.
902. I'm sorry you couldn't see the whole tracker, but I was just doing it by the column. So we have 902 in the 100 envelope challenge now. And let's see, 902 minus 494. So that's a positive change of 408. All right, so let's do total. And last month, let's check what I had for last month. And I'm just gonna put everything, including the ones I'm not counting anymore. So last month was $3,427. And let's count for this month. Thousand. Wow. $45.59. $4,559. Wow. Okay. So let's check. That is positive $1,132. So we saved an extra $1,100 in the month of September. And that doesn't include anything in this binder. There is probably a good thousand dollars in here. So even though some of that has already gone to debt. So yeah, $4,559 saved for the month of September. Yay. All right. So thank you guys for watching my sinking funds update for the month of September. Please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe so that you can stay up to date on our financial journey. Thank you guys. Bye-bye.